Okay. Good morning, um, and welcome to ELEX 2023 uh, here in Brno. Uh, I'm very glad uh, that you came. Uh, I'm very glad that you are so many. Uh, I'm very happy that we can start this um, eighth ELEX conference uh, at this day. Uh, I will begin with a very few organizational comments. Um, so this really is the eighth ELEX uh, when um, my colleague started uh, back in 2009, uh, Sylvian Granger uh, in Louvain. I think uh, no one uh, expected this to happen, but it did happen, and I'm very glad about it. Um, this is a conference that actually should have happened here two years ago, and uh, we all know the reasons why this was not the case. Um, even more so, I'm very happy that uh, we all made it here today. Uh, it's been very difficult two to three years for many of us, um, and let's hope this is really over. Um, at the end of this conference, uh, I hope uh, that we will be able to um, announce uh, where ELEX 2025 is going to happen, so please do not leave early, stay until the very end, uh, there will be a surprise. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, our sponsor, and that's the uh, Hornby Educational Trust. Um, this year's budget was quite demanding for several reasons, and uh, therefore we are really, really, really happy about the support from Hornby, and uh, thank all the representatives. Um, I would obviously also like to talk all the organizers of this year, which is by far not just lexical computing, but four more institutions that uh, steadily support ELEX for uh, over a decade. Um, it's our colleagues from Slovenia, from the Josef Stefan Institute and uh, University in, in Ljubljana. It's our colleagues from the uh, Institute of Estonian Language and Institute of Dutch Language. Um, okay, um, as for program, uh, I hope that you've noticed the QR code on your badge. Uh, that's what you can use to download the Conference for Me app, and by far it's the easiest way how to uh, look at the program. Uh, otherwise, you can also navigate to the website and there is a PDF file. If you need certificates of attendance, please uh, ask at the registration desk. We are not doing that automatically because uh, we believe that um, you know, the majority of you do not need them, but if you do, please uh, ask at the desk and you will get one. Um, those of you who are um, participating in the conference remotely uh, via uh, the live YouTube stream that um, I hope is uh, already running at this time uh, can use the um, chat function to ask questions um, throughout sessions and keynote talks. There will be someone who will be monitoring them um, and that's the way for you how to participate actively. Finally, uh, today's program is um, really you know, smooth and sweet. Uh, we start uh, by the first keynote that will be given by Professor Václav Svrček in a short while. Um, then uh, we will have a short coffee break, continue with sessions in three rooms, go to lunch, continue again with sessions, go to coffee break. Uh, we will have um, uh, three talks given by Hornby Trust Award recipients uh, today, and afterwards the second keynote given by uh, Elena Alvarez Melado, who is this year's uh, Adam Kilgariff Prize winner. Finally, everyone uh, is invited to attend uh, the welcome reception at 7 p.m. Um, in the lobby of this hotel. Um, just to make sure um, that the orientation uh, is, uh, say, well perceived, um, we all say just at this floor, you don't need to go anywhere else. Uh, the rooms have been accommodated uh, in a way that we uh, call the side rooms large one and uh, medium one, and this room is called large two. Um, originally, I planned that, um, you know, maybe we could use some other names, uh, such as, you know, the Kilgariff room and the Atkins room. Uh, ah, actually, uh, there is a Hank's room. And I, you know, in the end thought, like, um, Hank's room, um, that you know might sound like um, you know Adam Kilgari passed away, so that can pass away. Uh, but uh, we all know that Patrick Hanks is still living, though he cannot attend this conference. So no, 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 no. Uh, and uh, ah, 
and the site is missing. Um, I sorry. Um, so the name that uh, actually should have been there would be um, Karol Pala, who um, um, passed away in this February and who was one of my PhD supervisors. Um, Alexi Kura, for author of the Czech uh, Thesaurus um, 20 years ago, a man who many of you knew as well. Um, okay, so this is it. Uh, and uh, I think um, it's uh, the time to start with the first keynote. I'm very happy that I can introduce uh, Professor Václav Cvrček uh, from the uh, Institute of Czech National Corpus in Prague. Uh, Václav has been, um, you know, very active in um, corpus linguistics and the study of Czech grammar for a really very long time. He's been uh, the author of one of the first corpus-based uh, Czech grammars. Uh, he also actively participated in the uh, development of various software tools. And, uh, you know, when I was thinking, like, uh, what strikes me mo most about uh, Václav's work and what I should mention, that it is his impact on, let's say, general public thinking uh, of how language works. Um, Václav has the courage to, um, say, accept uh, invitations for interviews for, from newspapers and uh, general public media uh, to talk about things like orthography reform, which is a very sensitive topic in this country. Um, and then, you know, facing um, all the emails that, uh, that he receives and that his superior receives, they ex explain to him that he's totally wrong, you know, from people that simply perceive um, um, the orthography as part of the uh, social identity or um, the educational identity. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, I'm really happy that we have such brave people here that um, kind of uh, can have the courage um, and can discuss these things. So, um, Václav, the floor is yours. I will not close the... Good. This is... Um, full screen? Okay. 